Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name is Tanya and I am addicted to jewelry. So, in today's video, I would like to share what was in my closet. This was the next tray that was in um, case number three, basically. Uh, this is all sterling silver jewelry. It's, I don't know, there's rings, there's... Well, that's not sterling silver. But anyways, there was just a bunch of stuff in here that, uh, well, that's not sterling silver. <laughs> but anyhow, there was just a bunch of stuff in here. I don't even know what's in there. Nothing. Um, and I pulled some things out of that tray worthy of uh, sharing with you this morning. Um, and thank you all very much uh, for subscribing to my channel. Uh, for those of you who have, I really appreciate it. I'm actually at 104 now. What? Uh, things are happening fast, so we've got to we've got to buckle down here. I'm going to figure out how to make sure uh, that only the first 100 subscribers. I'm going to find a list of all my subscribers. I'm going to do it. I'll find it and I'll make sure that only the first 100 subscribers um, are entered to win this lovely pair of 14 karat gold earrings right here because I promised it to one of my first 100 subscribers. So um, I'm going to find my list of subscribers. I'm going to count down the first 100. Anyone after that's going to be cut off. So if everyone's last minute subscribing and uh, commenting on my last video, or not my last video, but the one before that from yesterday, um, I just don't think that's fair to the first 100 subscribers. So anyhow, we're going to be dealing with that situation. Yeah, because that's for you. Um, not for the people who decided suddenly they wanted to win a pair of 14 karat gold earrings. Um, yeah, it's for, it's for my viewers that really like jewelry. Um, and like me. <laughs> Okay, so in that tray today, um, in that tray today, no, in this tray today, we had some beauties here, um, like this one. I, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this, and then I'm going to go, because uh, I am all over the place. I have noticed I do watch my videos, as I said before, and I because I like to critique myself, especially on the big screen. It looks great from my telephone you know, it's that big, you know, uh, but on the TV, it's a whole different thing. And, uh, I, I notice that I, I get sidetracked a lot. You know, when I'm talking, I start rambling and then, you know, like a squirrel, squirrel, I just, I, I, I will change conversations and switch it up and, and talk about some other subject. And I, I, I don't do that intentionally. It's, I don't know. I don't know how my brain works, but that's the way it works. Anyhow, this is a great sterling silver charm bracelet that I picked up at the thrift store for five bucks. Um, most of these charms are marked. I think there's one or two that are not. It doesn't even matter if they're not sterling silver or whatever because it was five bucks. And I mean, come on. I'm going to pick that up all day long. But I'm going to show you these and then I'm going to. As I'm showing you these, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my video yesterday because, you know, I I pretty much just started talking about um, me and I skipped a huge portion of my life. Um, <laughs> I skipped a lot of stuff, but anyhow, uh, yeah, I actually uh, worked in the grocery industry uh after I was a manicurist for 22 years. Um, I bought a beautiful house in 1998 and I'm still here today. I, uh, I did purchase another home that I grew up in um, a few years after I had bought this house. Um, and my brother still lived there. Don't do business with family like that doesn't always work out well. Um, I did end up giving that house back to the bank in deed of lieu, so it wouldn't go into foreclosure. Um, that was a whole thing. <laughs> I 
been married three times. That was another thing I didn't tell you guys. I've been married three times. My dad, seven times. Yes, seven times. Um, my mom was only married twice. <laughs> Um, I've been single for six years, and I'm perfectly happy. I, I'm not into dating. I just don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I like my life. It's very simple. I have no one to worry about. Um, it was great when I was married. My my last marriage was 10 years. It was, you know, that was, that was an awesome marriage. But we did a lot of partying and drinking and stuff, and yeah. That had to come to a halt. Yeah, the drinking was getting out of control with the bar in the backyard. And, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, I gave up drinking many years ago. Many, many years ago. Anyhow, neat term bracelet. These are uh, Lorenzo, and they are sterling silver, 18 karat gold, and amethyst. And they're beautiful. I had bought two pairs at the same time, at the same place. Um, and they were both Lorenzo 18 karat. The other ones were a little different. Um, I sold those a couple of years ago, I'd imagine. Don't have them anymore. Anyhow, I, they were just like a couple dollars at the thrift store. Uh, this is great. This, okay, this is what I want to do with this. It is just a snowflake. It's sterling silver. It's Gorham sterling. It's 1971 Christmas. It's an ornament, Christmas tree ornament. Um, it needs to be polished, but visualize. Torque necklace, big chunky pendant, little black dress, maybe off the shoulder, with a little pair of stud diamond earrings. This polished up, of course, but... I think that that's a good look. <laughs> I might want to try to pull that off. Who knows? Anyways, cool little find. This is a Gucci bracelet. It's marked 925 there. And I can't tell. Oh gosh, I don't even have my glasses on. Excuse me. Oh well, hello there, princess. Hello, hello. She just stopped in to say hi. She's actually Zeus's mom. Mama Kitty, I call her, but her name is Princess. Can you guys see that? I, I can't see it. Gucci. It's Gucci. Anyhow, this was a nice bracelet. Oh, how does it go? There we go. Really chunky, but that was in there. Uh, these are great little artisan made earrings. They're studs. They have 14 karat gold uh, ear wire. And then this is 14 karat gold and the rest of it is sterling silver. And they're handmade, artisan made pieces. They are not signed or anything. And I know them to be artisan made because by law they should be signed. I uh, forget what year that went into play that, you know, the metals needed to be stamped. But um, from experience, my own experience, uh, when I was in junior high school, I took a jewelry making class and we did um, wax casting and I made a sterling silver ring and uh, it wasn't signed 925. We just made them. And... Uh, being a member at the Gem and Mineral Society, there's a bunch of people down there that make jewelry. And yeah, they make gold and silver jewelry all the time. And it's not signed. Just artisan made pieces. So you always wanna check stuff too. Just because it's not signed doesn't mean it's not real. This is, I don't know, ball bead chain, triple strand. It's only 14 inches, it's choker. It's like a choker triple strand but pretty it'd be much nicer cleaned up polished this is a lovely guilloche enameled uh whatchamacallit thingamajiggy locket it's very old locket i don't know if you can see the little closure there 
Uh, it's really lovely. Oops, come on, focus. Very pretty. This is a beautiful, uh, this is a really early sterling silver, Mexico sterling. That's what it's signed, just Mexico. Actually, it's marked Mexico silver. And those lovely cabochon amethyst. Almost like a four leaf clover design, but not quite, you know. You know, do you know? My daughter told me that I say, you know, or you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? You know? <laughs> and I guess I say that a lot. I didn't know. But now I know. You know? Any hoots. I think this is like 1940s. Very beautiful piece. This is lovely. That's a Hamza. It is a Hamza, meaning five for the five fingers of the hand. A very popular amulet that many people believe in was also known as the hand of God and also known as the hand of Fatima. The Hamza was very significant emblem. Hamza was very significant emblem. That's how it's worded, period. Uh, believed to ward off evil and initiate hope and prosperity for its owner. Sterling silver. Anyways, it's a really beautiful Hamza. Oh, it's got nice detail on the back, too. I actually have a big one in my car. Um, it's in my dash in the window. It's a big one like that, and it's got all the different chakra stones in it. And, you know, they get charged up every day, and... Yeah, I have a whole little deal that I do every day when I get in my car, uh, you know, as far as praying and that sort of thing and asking for safe travels um, to my destination and uh, back home again, not only for me, for everyone else on the road, but I always do pray in my vehicle, my vehicular before or every time I get in my car, you know. Anyhow, this is a, a lovely sterling silver vermeil bracelet. It is gold over sterling. It's marked there in the little cartouche. Got a really nice clasp. This is lovely. Um, but I'm going to backtrack. I had gone to this thrift store. It was a brand new thrift store, maybe a year and a half ago or so. And... Uh, there was a big tree there like on the counter and it had all these necklaces hanging off of it. This was like really tarnished and I looked at it and I was like, Ooh, I like the color of that. So I picked it up, asked the guy, how much are your necklaces? He said they're $8 each. And so I took it. I was like, Ooh, it's mine. It's marked there. Um, I didn't know what it said. Didn't care whether it was silver or gold, either way I was going to take it, but if it was gold, score bingo, um, but it is sterling silver vermeil, uh, gold over sterling, very nice hand pounded uh, necklace. This has got a two inch extender on it and it's 20 inches long, um, very nice piece. I had found this at that thrift store and then this was also hanging there and um, same thing. It was tarnished. I saw the cartouche. I saw the clasp and I saw these links and I was like, Ooh, $8. I'll take that one too. I mean, come on. Are we seeing how long this is? This is huge, huge. It is doubled over and it's 50 inches long. So this is 100 inches long. Lovely sterling silver vermeil. Beautiful links. I mean, you could you could put this around your neck probably 6 times. It's a beautiful piece, 100 inches long. Um yeah, and then it was months later, I was at a different thrift store, and I found this one. Excuse me, little lady. 
Okay, she's really wanting my attention right now. Okay, your tail can't be in the camera, silly girl. So anyways, this is exactly the same. I mean, it, it, I didn't, as soon as I saw it, it's like, bingo, lights went off. It's a set now. So I have the bracelet and the necklace. And oh my goodness, what are you doing? She's really trying to uh, get my attention right now. And I believe that was the last thing on my what's in my closet or yeah that's it that's all i pulled out for you guys to see today oh no this was in there as well so i had told you guys the other day when i found my jewelry jar that i had another 30 strand um oh and i don't think this is 30 strands maybe it is maybe it's not yeah maybe it is <laughs> anyways i found it it was in there this thing when i first found this uh it was so, so tangled. So I tied it in these little knots. I put these little bows in there so that way it wouldn't tangle again because I tell you, it took me a good couple of hours to get this right. Maybe, I don't remember. It, it took me a long time, but you know, I was thinking about wearing them together. What? 60 strands of this lusciousness? That would be amazing. So anyhow. Um, thank you all for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. For those of you who have, if you have not, please consider it. It won't cost you a penny. I promise, unless you decide you need to purchase one of these lovelies. And if you do, um, you could always email me at myjewelryaddiction55 at gmail.com. I do accept PayPal. Um, so you can email me over there if you see anything ever that you guys like. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. Have a beautiful and blessed day.